guys, welcome to the Blanca Project. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually just um, not facing my normal spot because I'm currently doing laundry today and there's clothes all over my bed that needed to be put away. So I didn't want you guys to look at all that mess. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about Weight Watchers. Last month I did a video and I mentioned that I would come on about once a month and just talk to you guys about the Weight Watchers programs program that I've been doing for a while and talk to you guys about you know how much I've lost or how much I've gained you know any new workouts that I'm doing any new foods that I'm trying so that's pretty much what I come in, wanted to come to you guys today with um, so this month I really didn't lose much and I really didn't gain much I kind of just maintained I was able to lose about a pound and a half but that was for a whole month so really it's not that much um, but I guess it's better than nothing right um, so I do have a goal and my goal is to lose about 10 pounds from now until my birthday and my birthday is on August 28th so I'm hoping to lose about 10 pounds from now until then and that's about a pound a week maybe a little bit less or a little bit more I can't remember but anyways it's about a pound a week I think and um, my goal is to reach the 10 pound <clears throat> mark by my birthday so hopefully it works out so wish me luck guys um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about new workouts that I've been doing um, I just started going back to the gym last week and during that week I think I went to the gym about three times and I did yoga class once, which I loved. I've always loved doing yoga. And, you know, people say yoga is supposed to be really relaxing and very... But it's not. You know, sometimes you're super sweaty and you're like, what the heck am I doing in these positions? Like, downward what? And chakaranda and what? You know? So, I mean, it's... They're difficult positions and... But at the same time, it's fun. You know, I mean, there's never ever been a time where I go to the gym or I go to the class and as soon as I leave, I'm like, oh, I regret doing that. Never. But there's been so many times where I say to myself, I regret not going to the gym. I regret not going to that class. Um, so at least I'm going. So yoga, I've always loved yoga. I used to do yoga like three or four times a week years ago. But I haven't done yoga in a really long time and I finally got the guts and went last week and it was great. I mean, I was definitely drenched in sweat, which I, like I said, yoga is supposed to be relaxing. I wasn't relaxed. Well, I felt good after, um, but during class I was like, I can't do balance. Oh my God, I can't do this. Um, but it was great. And then I also went to the gym and actually did workouts on the cardio machine. So I did the elliptical for about, I usually do elliptical for like 30 minutes and then I'm out of the gym and I'm like, I'm done. I did my workout, I'm done. Well, this time I wanted to do a little bit more than just that. So I did elliptical for about 30 minutes. Um, actually, one day I did do it for a full hour, so that was really good. And I was drenched in sweat, so that was awesome. Um, the second time, I did the elliptical for 30 minutes. Then I did um, power walking for 15 minutes. And then I did cycling for 15 minutes. So that was a full hour as well. And that was really, really good. And I felt really good after I left the gym. So I think I'm going to continue to try and hit that one hour mark. And I know, I know, one hour is not a long time. But when you're sweating and you're running or doing some kind of workout, a minute is a long time. So <laughs> I don't know if you guys even understand that, but if you do, let me know because I want to know that I am not the only one that's like running for a minute. I'm like, God, I swear it's been like 10 minutes already. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully this week I'll be able to go to the gym a little bit more and keep going not just for this week, but for the whole month. Um, so let's see how I do next month. Alright, so one, I want to talk, also talk to you guys about the foods I've been trying. And I've been trying not a lot of different foods, but I feel like I've invited more foods into my, my meals. Um, and I pulled out like all the foods that I've been trying this month. And all the foods are pretty much just snacks. And I think that's where my big problem is. I'm a big snacker. Like, I don't eat big meals. I've never had that problem of eating a lot, a lot for a meal. I'm always just snacking. I always need something to snack on. And preferably something crunchy. And as I'm looking at all my snacks, pretty much everything is something crunchy. I love crunchy stuff. I love crunchy, salty, all that. That gets me in trouble is what I love. Um... 
So let's get started with the foods I've been really liking this month. So first of all, oh, before we start that, look at this mason jar I got Michael the other day. Isn't it so cute? I actually got it on sale at um, Target and I thought it was so cute and I'm actually using it because I left my cup at, um, in my car, so yeah. Anyways, just wanted to show that off. <laughs> so this is the first thing I wanted to show you guys. This is a drink. This is a sparkling um, zero calorie water from Kirkland. So this is this Costco brand and this flavor is the black raspberry. This is a knockoff brand off the ice drinks. They taste exactly the same. They're just a little bit cheaper at Costco. I've been loving these and these are zero points um, for the whole bottle um, Weight Watcher wise. Um, this actually I kind of eat as a snack or usually I eat it after the gym or as breakfast with some fruit. These are the Special K protein bars and these are actually really good. These are three points each and this is the flavored chocolatey, chocolatey peanut butter granola and these are super good. So if you guys haven't tried these, give them a try. The other non-crunchy um, snack I've been eating is this Fiber One chocolate chip cookie and I know we've all seen these at the Dollar Tree. They just came out. I don't even know why but they're actually really, really good. And I've never ever seen Fiber One products at Dollar Tree, so when I saw it, I took it. And I really liked it. Oh, and that's three Weight Watcher points. And if you guys saw my last, I think it was my last vlog or the one before that, I mentioned that I had purchased these Inca corn. And I noticed a lot of people had received it in their Love With Food or Love Food box. I can't remember the name of that box. But anyways, these Inca corn chips are so good. They're literally like cornets, but they're bigger. I feel like they're like fluffier. So this is what the chip looks like. So it's just really a cornet. They're so good. And then this is the low sodium flavor. I guess it's just the regular flavor and it just says low sodium on it. But they have like so many flavors. I think the other day I bought um, sea salt flavor. I bought chili picante flavor. And they're so good. I Love these. Love, love, love. Next thing I've been purchasing, and I know this is not going to come as a surprise to you guys, but my pop chips. I love my pop chips. You guys know I love anything crunchy. And uh, not this flavor necessarily. I've been loving all the flavors. It's not just this flavor, but I like this. I think the other day I bought the ranch. Um, I think I bought been buying the cheddar ones as well and I can't remember what the other ones were but these are super good as um, a little snack or even as like if I'm eating burgers with that or you know anything like that it's perfect I love them um, the next thing I've been eating and I actually noticed a lot of people got it in this month's food box that I've been watching on YouTube I don't get the box I've just been seeing people unboxing that and I love this I love it it's this brownie brittle and if you guys have not tried this you guys need to give this a try I've actually been eating this I got it last year and then I got it again this year but I hadn't seen it out until recently so I don't know if maybe it's a summer thing but oh my gosh if you guys have not tried this it's so good I love chocolate and this is chocolate and crunchy, so it's a perfect mix mixture for me. And really what it tastes like, it's like, you know the, cr the crunchy stuff on top of your brownie? That's exactly what it is. It's so good. Let me take out a piece so you guys can look at it. Alright, so this is pretty much what it looks like. So it's just a square and it has a bunch of chocolate chips on it. It's so good. So an ounce of this is 3.3 Weight Watcher points. And what I've been doing, for instance, with this and my pop chips, I haven't done it with the Inca corn yet. I actually measure out what an ounce is and put it in a Ziploc bag and write down how many Weight Watchers points it is. That way, whenever I want to grab some, I just pull them out. Like right now, I think I have about like three or four Ziploc bags with brownie brittle for that only has an ounce and I have the points written out. That way, you know, I don't have to worry about measuring when I actually want to just grab it. It's already just there and it's ready because I feel sometimes if I'm not prepared for stuff like that and I don't have it ready for me, I'll just grab the bag, open it and just eat and eat and eat and when I, I don't even know it and I'm already at the end of the bag. That's just me. Another thing we've been eating a lot is also these Triscuit um, crackers. This is a hint of salt and these are actually really, really yummy. And you know, I made the mistake the other day of just of not prepping them and I was just eating them so I don't even know how many points these are. So let me figure it out right now. 
Okay, so this is not too bad. So for six of these crackers, it's three Weight Watcher points, so that's pretty good. Um, we actually tried these on Friday night, and we ate them with a lot of cheese and crackers. If you guys watched, follow me on Instagram. Um, you guys saw the picture I posted of our our cheese and cracker night. So we had these crackers, and then we had some ch uh, some cheese, and it was delicious. And then the last thing I'm going to actually show you guys are these Anderson peanut butter um, pretzels. And these are super, super good. I buy this big thing at um, Costco, but they actually have the little bags at Dollar Tree. I've actually seen them there, and they're the same brand and everything. It's the same exact thing, but they're just, I think they're by serving. I'm not exactly sure if it has more than one serving. They're so good. So they're tiny little pretzels. Let me take it out for you guys. They're literally tiny little pretzels like this. They're little, they're little chubby ones. They're so cute. And then inside they're filled with peanut butter. And they are amazingly good. And they're super filling too. So if, for instance, I usually eat this when I'm going to have a really long break between like lunch or dinner or like um, breakfast and lunch or anything like that where I'm going to need something to hold me off for a little bit longer than just fruit. I'll grab something like this and it holds me for a while. So the next two things I wanted to talk about, um, I don't have any right now, so because I ate them, um, I can't talk, I can't show you guys. But I've actually been loving frozen grapes lately. Oh my gosh, I've been having them in my freezer pretty much all the time. Um, I don't know if it's because it's been getting really hot lately that I'm constantly like, ooh, if I eat some frozen grapes, I'll be good. So I'll reach out for the frozen grapes instead of some ice cream, and it cools me down. Um, so I've been really, really loving those. And I usually like the green grapes a little bit better. Um, but yeah, they're super, super good if you get them to be, like if you put them in there for like four or five hours, and then they get really hard, and then you just bite into them, and they're like, it kind of feels like an icy on the inside. They're so, so good. If you guys haven't given them a try, try them out and then let me know what you guys think. Um, my next cold snack that I've been loving are the Dole Dippers. I don't know if you guys have seen any of them. Um, if I, actually, you know what? I think I might have one in the back, so just give me a sec. I'll go bring one out. All right, so I actually did have um, some Dole Dippers. That's what they're called. And these are it. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, they're pretty new. They have these are banana and they're covered in dark chocolate. I mean, these are strawberry. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have the strawberry that are dipped in in um, dark chocolate, or they have the bananas that are dipped in dark chocolate. And I think they also have bananas dipped in dark chocolate with peanuts on top. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they're the bananas. They're so good. By far, the strawberry ones are my favorite, but the banana ones are pretty good as well. And I think they are so good. And you know what? I just realized I didn't tell you how many points these are. I think these these are about, it says four points for eight pretzels, but I think you can even eat ten of these for four points, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then these are two points, and they give you four halves, so two whole strawberries dipped in chocolate. And it's so, honestly, it doesn't sound like it's a lot, but when you're eating it, it's like perfect. It's really not that bad. Um, so anyways, this is it for this month's Weight Watcher uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll come next month and um, talk to you guys about new foods that I've been trying, new workouts, and hopefully I lost a little bit more weight and I was able to reach my goal. Um, another thing that I'm actually starting, Michael and I have our one-year wedding anniversary this coming Sunday, June 28th, um, and his birthday's on June 30th. Do you guys see what we, did, what we did there? If you guys figure it out, let me know down below and I'll let you know if that's correct or not. Anyways, um, so his birth, our anniversary is on June 28th, my birthday's August 28th, and his birthday's June 30th. Can you guys figure it out? Anyways, um, I had said that from June 28th, our one year wedding anniversary, to my birthday, August 28th, which is the whole two months, I would try and reach a 200 mile goal. So that's about 100 miles a month, and I believe when I divided that out, that was about three miles per day. So pretty much meaning that I have to work out um, in increments of miles. So not minutes, but miles. And if, for instance, if I'm on the treadmill, the treadmill will tell me how many miles I shredded for. 
I don't know. If I'm, I mean, if I'm on the treadmill, how many miles I walked or ran or power walked, or if I'm on the elliptical, how many of these I did. If I'm on the bicycle, how many miles I cycled. Um, so I'm trying to reach a total of 200 miles by my birthday. So from June 28th to August 28th. So next month when I come and see you guys again with Weight Watcher wise, I'll let you know how many miles I'm in and hopefully I'll be really, really close to that goal. I haven't figured out what kind of reward to give myself if I do when I do accomplish that 200 mile goal. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear them down below. Alright guys, so this is it for this Weight Watcher video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I'll make sure to put my name up on the screen and also down in the description below. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!